Hello, this is Matt with Modern School Bus, and in this video, I'm going to show you some new AI features in Google Docs that could change the way that you write. In my last few videos, I have been covering all of the new AI features available in Google Workspace. So I've covered AI in Google Sheets, and I have covered AI in Gmail, and now we are going to take a look at the new AI features in Google Doc. So I have enabled these new AI features already. So when I go into Google Docs, I have this option here that says, help me write. And this is where you can provide your prompt. Now, if you have not enabled these features already, what you need to do is go to labs.google and scroll down to this section that says, unlock new ways of working with AI. And then you should have a button here that says join waitlist. And when I selected that button, I was automatically into the new features. Now, this depends on what country you are in because this is a beta right now and it is not available in every country. And they are also going to be adding new features constantly. So by the time that you are watching this, maybe there's even more features. So let's go back to Google Docs now and see how we can use these new features. So I'm gonna go over several examples of how you might use this. So firstly, if you ever see this help me write option disappear like it is now, all you need to do is start typing and then you will see the button appear on the left hand side. So this is where you can select it and then it will appear back on the screen. So you can provide your prompt into this box here. So what I'm going to do in this first example is just use this to help me create a resume template that I can then fill out with my own personal experience. So what I'm gonna do is write in here, write me a resume for a digital marketing position. And then it's going to start creating based on the prompt that I have typed. So sometimes this takes a little bit. Usually it is pretty fast though. So it looks like it has finished. So let's just take a look. So it looks like there's a summary at the top with some generic text for a marketing position and then some spots for experience. So it looks like it has two past roles in this resume as well as a section for education and skills. So if you were writing a resume and you wanted to save a bunch of time, what you could do is first provide this a prompt to create you a template and then edit the template with your specific information. Okay, I'm gonna pause the lesson really quick and let you know about my free course. If you are a beginner at Excel or Google Sheets, I have a free course with the nine most fundamental lessons that you need to master. Click the link in the description of the video to get the course now. So if you wanted to use this, what you could do is come to the bottom and what you wanna do is select this insert button and that is going to insert this into your Google Doc. However, you can actually edit this by selecting the refine button and you have a few different options here. You can change the tone to either a more formal or casual tone. You can summarize, which is going to end up shortening the response. Bulletize, elaborate, and then you have shorten. So those are a few different options that you can play with to edit what was provided to you if you don't like how it ended up coming out the first time around. I'm just gonna select insert and we're going to insert this into our doc. So that is just one example of how you could use it. Next, let's take a look at a different example. So I'm just going to delete all of this and I'm gonna start a new prompt. So what I'm gonna do this time is write me a resignation letter. And so here, as you can see, it is provided a simple resignation letter that I can then edit with my own personal information. So I'm gonna start a new prompt now just to get some more ideas of how you could use this. So let's say, write me an email ad on my new course on how to pet a dog. And let's just see what it comes up with. And so here it has provided what looks like a simple email advertising my new course on dog petting. And I would never personally just copy and paste this and use this as is. I would always probably edit it to make it a little more personal to me who is the writer. But if you wanted to just copy and paste these AI generated responses, 
that is up to you. So let's take a look at one last example just to really test the limits of this thing. So I'm just gonna write in a simple prompt for a short story. So let's do something like, write me a short story about a hero named Matt who is on a quest to pet a dog and an evil villain that wants to prevent Matt from doing so. And let's just see how creative this thing really is. Okay, and so here it is. Once upon a time, there was a hero named Matt who loved dogs. He loved them so much that he decided to go on a quest to pet every dog. Matt traveled far and wide, petting dogs of all shapes and sizes. He petted big dogs, small dogs, fluffy dogs, and even hairless dogs. He petted dogs that lived in cities, dogs that lived in the country, and dogs that lived in the middle of nowhere. One day, Matt came to a town that was ruled by an evil villain. The villain had a pet dog of his own and he was very protective of it. He didn't want anyone else to pet the dog, not even Matt. The villain tried to stop Matt from petting his dog, but Matt was too quick for him. He snuck into the villain's castle and petted the dog right under the villain's nose. The villain was furious. He chased Matt out of the castle and vowed to get revenge, but Matt was already on his way to the next town where he was sure to find even more dogs to pet. The end. So overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with that short story. I thought it was pretty good for being generated by AI. I can see how this could be very useful as idea generation. I personally wouldn't copy and paste anything that comes out of here again, but it does look like it comes up with some pretty good ideas, even for short stories. So if you are a writer and you're having a writer's block, maybe you just need to go into some AI tools and ask them to come up with some ideas to really get your juices flowing. But anyways, I think that is enough for this video. So just a last note about these AI tools. Again, the responses are gonna be better if you provide a more specific prompt. So I have only used kind of quick generic prompts in this video just for sake of time. But if you have something specific you're working on, what you're gonna to wanna to do is play with providing a more specific response. So if you haven't seen my last videos on using the other AI features in Google Workspace, in Gmail, and in Google Sheets, make sure to check those out. And thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to place a link in the description of the video where you can subscribe to my email newsletter to get free updates and lessons sent straight to your email. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.